I today uh, continue the teardown of this uh, Criticon Dynamap Passion Monitor. I will remove the display. So here you can see we have uh, air net to the patient with uh, nice uh, brass nuts. Uh, this air pipe passes um, behind the display and here it is attached with these two plastic clips that I need to push from the inside I guess it will not be easy at all yes one is off you find a lot of this kind of plastic uh, things on uh, Japanese equipment as the time and they are very brittle in fact because the plastic is old so I may need to find something else to replace them so this one did come off correctly but this one it looks like it does not want to cooperate I must have some spare ones somewhere. Okay, here we are. I was not expecting uh, the display to fall like this, but it happened. So here is what we have at the back of the display. I will zoom in for you. So it is made by Planar International Limited. We have uh, voltage 180 volts here. We have this uh, main uh, cable going to it. You can see there is a coax in this, oddly enough. It was like so. So, uh, transformer here probably for making the high voltage. Board to board connector going to the other part. So I might be able to undo on this. The linear slipper together as you can see with the metal standoffs like so and oh, now I need the standoffs so early enough this part is uh, metric uh, hardware it seems while the other parts are imperial the pump also of course is uh, imper uh, metric as it is made in Germany Here we are. I have still something in the middle. Yes, here there is a little nut in the middle. Probably a ground. Yes. And now I must be able to pull this apart without breaking anything if, if possible yes here we are so we have little uh, separators thing between the two parts we have here quite a lot of uh, control ICs as you can see for the display by my Toshiba they are all the same no not all the same TD62C942F and here neck clips 
D1606GF Made by Finlux Display Electronics Loja Corporation So probably made in Finland And here, this display with a lot of uh, contacts on the side as you can see It is a little dirty, I will clean it before installing And the back side of this uh, power uh, supply board, you can see a lot of uh, surface mount parts. A lot of diodes in particular on the capacitors also. A few transistors on the ICs too. So this is interesting. Okay, so it is all for this uh, tear down, I guess, of a patient monitor. I will now uh, try to put it back uh, together, and we will see it in uh, fast forward mode.
Okay, the thing is back together, but still not uh, fixed. I guess uh, it should be nice if I can find another one with a different failure, but with a good uh, power supply and uh, a good case. Or even, in fact, another one in uh, just in correct condition and working. It should be nice. And then scrap this one because I cannot play with it with a broken power supply and I cannot have a look at the fancy uh, display and uh, all of the menus and uh, whatnot inside so for now it is just a uh, paperweight sadly this thing if I get the opportunity to find another one similar one at a uh, affordable price very well, very cheap price uh, under uh, 30 euros in a good working condition I get, will get it probably because this one was really cheap but uh, also it is broken so to be uh, followed maybe someday for now thanks for watching bye bye